hello everyone in this video we'll see how to use github copilot inside visual studio code to do some simple data analysis let's get started so this is a screen that you see on visual studio code so let me create a new file i will create a python notebook and start showing you how to work on this so let me create a new file. If you go to this icon on the left, you will get a new file. You can name it. Let's name it analysis.ipynb. So ipynb is IPython notebook. That's how you create a notebook which deals with Python. So as soon as I click that, I see a notebook in front of me, right? Now here you can select a kernel so that you can start. I'm going to work on Python 3.11. I select this option and Python 3.11 is ready, right? So what I've done here is I have used a data set on automobiles, which is available from the internet. And I'm going to do some basic analysis on that data set. The first thing that we need to do is to import some analysis libraries. So what I'll do is see how this works beautifully. I just put a hash sign and I say import libraries. It gives me the option automatically. I press the tab button, import libraries for, I say, data analysis. So I'm just pressing the tab and it gives me prompts. Now when I press enter or return, I get the code automatically import pandas as pd i use tab again press return import numpy as np so i can use as many libraries as i want so let us do some four or five libraries import mat.lib for plotting it's fine import cbon as sns let me do that import os this is for changing the directory import warnings let me do that warnings and we'll import matplotlib inline so let's work with these libraries for now so once i press enter i see a green tick that means the libraries have been imported okay now the next step is i will change the path so that I am working in the folder. So I have imported the OS library, the operating system. I say os.chdir, change directory. So it gives me the path. So I click tab and I get this path. So I have to currently use the path where I have my file. So I will I will use the path that I have. So let me switch to that path and my path is this. So I enter my path, which is this, and I say run. I get the path. Now, if I check my present working directory, pwd, I get the correct path, right? Now, next thing is I need to import the file. So if I create a new code section, I write this command, import CSV files, CSV file using pandas let's say okay import csv file using pandas and i press return i get the code df is equal to pd dot read underscore csv the name of the file so i simply press tab and instead of train dot csv i give the name of my file which is mpg dot csv i press the run button i get the file now how do i know whether this file is correct or not i can check it using the file name i'll just say df dot head again it prompts me i press tab i run this i get the 
file details, the variable name. So I have the manufacturer detail, I have the model number, I have the display displacement, I have the year, cylinders, and so on. Now let's plot. Let's see a couple of plots and a simple regression model. Again, I create a new code section and I again using hash write uh, check the distribution of data. Let's check the distribution of let's say CTY and HWY. So CTY is uh, miles per ga gallon given in cities and HWY is miles per gallon given on highways. So I do this. I press enter. So SNS dot this plot, it says DF dot CTY. Instead of this plot, I will use this plot because this is an older version and I run this, I get the plot. So I get the frequency, the count and here I get the miles per gallon in the city. Now similarly, next what I can do is I can again ask plot the distribution of highway miles per gallon and I press return. I get SNS dot this plot. Now, if you notice, instead of dist plot, which it was giving earlier, it has changed it to dist plot. So dist plot is the latest command and dist plot, D-I-S-T plot is the older command. And when I again press tab and the, then run this code, I get the distribution for miles per gallon on the highway. So it is so simple. Next is let me run a regression. So I say run a regression with CTY as the dependent variable and let's say HWY as independent variable. Let's try that just to see the output. So SNS rec plot, I don't want to plot. This I will say, uh, okay, let's look at the regression plot and let's see what happens. So this is how the regression plot looks like. If you plot city miles per gallon against highway miles per gallon, this is what you get. Now I will say in the next piece of code, fit an OLS model, ordinary least squares model with city as a dependent variable and highway as the independent variable. So I press return, I get the import option and then model is equal to smf.ols formula is equal to city as a dependent variable, highway as the independent variable and data is equal to df. So let's run this. Let's see what we get. Now this has run correctly because I've got a green tick here. Now I need to see the model. So I will say model dot summary, let's say model summary, okay, model dot summary, and we run this. Oh. So I'll say again, summarize the model and I say model underscore fit is equal to model dot fit. I use tab. Let's see what it gives me. Again, let me give, let me again try hash, check the summary of the model, what it says model underscore fit dot summary. 
Now I press the tab button and run this. So you see the output of this regression model. So you have the dependent variable CTY R squared value of 0.914 and you have the coefficients here. Intercept is 0.8442, standard error is 0.333. The coefficient for highway is 0.6832, standard error is 0.0014. It also gives other statistics as well, Durbin, Watson, Kurtosis, Qness, log likelihood estimate and everything. So it has become so simple using this. I hope you liked watching this video. I will keep posting more videos using GitHub Copilot. Thank you.